Hi, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing fantastic. Unfortunately, Leon is not feeling so fantastic right now as he is lying in bed with food poisoning. So you'll have to do with me for this video. We're Leon and Mick, also known as Fantastic Traveling. We've been living the van life for the past two years and have recently bought our new home, a converted Sprinter van. Due to 2020, we're currently back in our home country, exploring every inch of the Netherlands. Today we are going to do the Positive Pandemic Tag, an initiative from Mel at Pebbles and & Peach and we were tagged by Megan Calvin Floor and the Novice Explorers. We'll link all the channels in the description below so you can check them out yourself. Now before we start, a little disclaimer, we are not making light of the seriousness of the situation at all, but we are a channel that like to send out positive vibes into the world, so that's why we decided to jump on it. And as the initiative is from Mel from Pebbles and Peach, we decided to go on a little collaboration. So all the music that you'll hear in this video is from her. So make sure to check her out. And before we go into the questions, let's say hi to Leon. Baby. Ah, uh, leave me alone. <laughs> well, isn't he just a little ball of sunshine? Anyways, let me get my phone so we can do the questions. Question number one. Restrictions have been lifted. What's the first thing you do for fun with your friends and family? I think if all restrictions are lifted, the first thing, uh, thing I'm gonna do is hug them all, like for a very, very long time. And probably go to a nice pub or restaurant. Just if all restrictions are lifted, I think it would be enough just to be close with all my parents and family again, have good company, foods, drinks, you know, and really just celebrate life. So Leon is really not feeling well, so I thought I'd make him a smoothie, put some vitamins in him, so that's what I'm gonna do while I do the questions, all right? So, what do I need? Fruits. Question number two. All right, question number two. What's been your favorite hobby since the lockdown began? We do this YouTube thing. I don't know if you heard about that. I think just like anyone else, I've been watching a lot of Netflix. And we try to do some exercise, do some healthy food things. Uh, we all know how that worked out with Leon being in bed with food poisoning. I can't say that I have one, one special thing that I've been focusing all my energy on uh, during the lockdown. So just keeping myself busy. lesson you've learned during the pandemic I think it's the same answer that Megan Kell said and that is taking things for granted that you just can't take for granted anymore does that make sense <laughs> you know what let's go to Leon real quick and ask what his biggest lesson is that he learned during the pandemic because I'm quite curious actually I think it's the same for me the biggest lesson I've learned is to really try and live in the moment that's a good one yeah I remember all the travel adventures that we had uh, in Scotland in Spain in Portugal oh, that's so long ago. it is so long ago but I remember that every time we we were in a certain place or in a city or doing something epic we were already thinking of the next thing to do that's a good one yeah. like what are we going to do tomorrow what are we going to do next week it is so important to do to enjoy the moment you're in because yeah. well you never know what's going to happen to no, you <laughs> you don't I remember us telling ourselves when we sold everything and quit the job, what's the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> we never thought of a pandemic. <laughs> no, so I think that is a good lesson that we take from all this. Living in the moment, do not take things for granted. Yeah. yeah. All right. On to the next question. 
Question number four. What is your favorite... I, I, really, I swear I memorized it. What has been your favorite book, film or game over the course of the lockdown? Right, well, we don't really watch a lot of films, but we do watch a lot of series. Games is easy for Leon. He's playing FIFA since he was a little boy. Um, and he's still playing that. I do love to read. I'm uh, in the series of the Seven Sisters, but Netflix series, that is really our thing. So we've been watching The Walking Dead. I know it's been around for 10 years, but we never got around to watch it. So we started just a few weeks ago. Started at season one, we're now in season four. So it's been uh, I think funny to watch The Walking Dead because we're in this pandemic and the world has ended or so to say and The Walking Dead is all about zombie apocalypse and things like that so um, it's a good time to watch it. You know, it can be worse. <laughs> is that a bad thing to say? <laughs> Let's go to, to uh, question number five. <laughs> Question number five is, the government has declared the pandemic is over and has issued you with a free holiday of your choosing. Where do you go and why? Well, if we're being honest and government is paying for all this, I say let's ship Bruce over to the USA and just do some well life adventure in America. I've always wanted to go there. I've never been and i'm not sure how that would be with our two fur babies but if someone else is picking up the tap then yeah i'm i'm okay to figure that out and make that happen right let's go to leon for question number six <laughs> so, question number six. Uh, forget coronavirus, it's a zombie virus. What two celebrities or fictional characters would be in your survival team and why? I would say, since we are wa watching The Walking Dead, um, either Michonne or Daryl are very handy to have in your team. And like I said, I'm in season four, so please, 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 no spoilers. Mm. <laughs> if they die, I don't want to know it. For now, it looks like they're pretty handy to have around. Um, so probably one of them. And for food, because that is also very nice to have. Someone who can prepare food and make some nice chicken. So Meg from Florent and Nose Explorers once told us that she is the one chef that you need to have in your team when the zombie zombie apocalypse will happen so i'm gonna go with Mac. i would choose lagartha oh shoot Catherine oh. winnick yeah from vikings got it yeah and the mother of dragons daenerys damn it oh those are so Clark. good oh, and they're very nice and blunt ladies too yeah because of their qualities <laughs> <laughs> that would be my pick and if you want to join in, it's fun. <laughs> okay, cool. And that sums up the questions. So we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to walk the puppy. And I'm going to tag three more people. So Annie and Jen from Many Fun Adventures, you're up. I'm hoping you're going to have fun with this video. I'm going to tag Trev and Sue from Postcat Campings and the lovely ladies of Camper Vibe. All the channels will be in the description down below so you can check them out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already and give us a thumbs up. Alright guys, be awesome and stay fantastic. Lesson that he learned during this pandemic. Pandemic? His big, biggest lesson that he learned during the pandemic. Words! Ooh, hi puppy! Is his biggest lesson that he learned during the pandemic? Do you want some attention? Okay, say hi! To be more careful around in the kitchen. He loves a great vacuum though. Come on. I go so much. Question. Question. Watching people. 
No, that came out right, wrong. And spread the love. Uh,